Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Birdhouse Alt from Scratch. Now, if you haven't seen the previous videos, make sure you check them out. I'll have the playlist linked below in the description. But otherwise, today we are going to be continuing on with meeting the requirements for the Bone Voyage quest. And uh, if you take a look, we still have to do the Dig Site quest. And uh, we met all the requirements for the Dig Site quest in the last video. So now if we go down to uh, Dig Site, we have everything we need. So let's head to Varrock and start that quest right now. And in case you're curious, here's what the stats are looking like. Pause the video if you want to see them. But there's really not much to see, so uh, let's get to it. So here's what the bank is looking like. Not too much to see. Our cash stack is like 5.8k. Uh, we need a cup of tea for the quest. I sold all the cups of tea that we got from the last video. So uh, let's buy all the stuff now. Hopefully it doesn't put too much of a dent in the cash stack. Okay, so we got everything we need. I remember going for the Opal on my Hardcore Iron Man. You had to like pan for it on there. And it took forever to get that. So it's so nice being able to just buy everything that I need. And uh, yeah, that's everything. It didn't really cost too much. It cost like 400 GP. I wish I had enough money for dig site teleports and staminas. But uh, those are a bit pricey. And I'll just spend the extra couple minutes to walk around and let run restore. But we do have a couple of rock teleports from before. So those will help save a little bit of time. And uh, I don't think there's anything dangerous in the quest. Uh, I guess you could bring a jug of wine just in case, but I'm not too worried about dying. Okay, so we're talking with the examiner right now to start the quest. And uh, let's take an exam because I guess we're in school again. And uh, there we go, quest has been started. So I'll see you back either when we finish the quest or something cool happens. Oh no, I know exactly how this is going to go too. At least we brought the wine. <laughs> uh, imagine dying here on a hardcore Iron Man. In Slayer Music's guide, he's using regular energy potions. I, I guess they're like really cheap, I probably could have been able to buy them if I wanted to. But uh, we're here already, so whatever. Yo, watch this, this is like a scene out of a movie. It's like an epic scene where the main character is running away from a big explosion without looking behind their back. Okay, so we've got 10 HP and we have to run past all these skeletons that are level 22. Oh my god, there's a big three. Um, I think we're good, I think we're good, I think we're good. Just uh, say, see you later, boy. What if I get hit for a four? Okay, so once we use the stone tablet on the archaeological expert, it's about to be the quest complete. And that is going to give us a lot of mining XP, a lot of herb lore XP. Uh, we started with level 15 mining and level 10 herb lore. So let's see where that put us at. 32 mining and 17 herb lore. So if we were like playing a brand new account, we could skip past all the early levels of uh, doing copper and tin and iron and go straight to coal, or even better, going straight to motherload mine right from the start of a new account. Just from questing. There aren't even any mining requirements for any of the quests I've done. That was all solely through questing. And then if you're like an iron man, herb lore, that's super nice to get up to because herb lore is very tough to get up. It takes a long time. Hey, hey Rick, how you doing? What you got for me? Ooh, sapphire. Aren't sapphires worth more than emeralds? I'm pretty sure they are. Okay, but now let's head back to the museum in Varrock because we got a bit of unfinished business to take care of. So if we talk to Mr. Curator over here and give him our certificates, uh, you get a reward. You can choose either a drink. Okay, we gotta give him all three first, actually. And then he'll give you the option between a food and a drink, which doesn't really matter unless you're an Iron Man. Uh, if you're an Iron Man, choose something to eat because you get a chocolate cake from that and a chocolate cake is what you need for desert treasure. And uh, a chocolate cake could potentially be sort of annoying to get because there's really no place to buy it and you have to go like all over the place to get the supplies to make it. So if you are an Iron Man, go with the chocolate cake. If not, doesn't really matter. Okay, next thing we have to do is find the clean necklace. I'm sure a lot of you have done this before and know how frustrating it can be. It says it's a 1 out of 51 chance, but uh, we all know it's like a super rare, mega rare drop table drop to get from here. But what it does is once you find it, it allows you to enchant a ruby necklace into a dig site pennant, which will allow us to get to the birdhouses super easy. And uh, kind of once you see how we do the bird runs, you'll see how this all falls into place, but this is something that you pretty much have to do. So in case you don't have any of the items that you need, go to the tools on the wall over here. And uh, we have everything right now except for the rock pick. So let's take the rock pick. We're gonna head over here to these rocks. I'm doing this all by memory, by the way. I haven't done this in like, since I did it on the hardcore like six months ago or something. But I'm pretty sure we, uh, never mind, ignore me. We have to talk to this guy first, uh, say yes, how can I help you out? And, uh, okay, we got everything we need, and then now I think we use the rock pick on here. It should allow it, give me a second. Okay, so we take a rock from a table here, then we take the rock over here to the table, and then we, uh, clean it or dust it off or whatever, and you wait a very long time for your character to finish doing this really cool animation. And then, uh, yeah, so we're looking for a clean necklace, which is, like I said, a 1 out of 51 rate. So it could take a while, it could be super fast. You know, this whole game's all RNG based. Now, while we're doing this, as I mentioned before, we need 100 kudos to do the Bone Voyage quest. But by doing this, you can get 50 more kudos just from cleaning these finds. And uh, there's five items you want to look for. 
which, oh, there's one of them right there. There's five items, and each of those items gives you 10 kudos each. So it's kind of good that it takes a while to find the clean necklace. We're going to need to get these five items, and uh, the five items I have on the wiki right here for you to look at, we the uh, these first five right here, the pottery, old symbol, ancient symbol, ancient coin, and the old coin. And then, yeah, there's a clean necklace, and the rest of these aren't really important. The rest of these from here on down. I guess we should also probably drop all these items from the quest that we don't need anymore. Oh, I also forgot to mention, the dig site quest probably took a half hour at the most. And that was with walking, like, most of the time, because, you know, no staminas, no energies. If you don't have staminas or anything, it should take, like, half an hour. If you do have it, it'll probably cut the time in half, to be honest. There's also a 1 out of 195 chance to get an XP lamp from doing this. And uh, it gives you 500 XP and a skill of at least level 10. So 1 out of 195, not very common to get, but there is that chance there. But of course, it's probably not a very viable training method because of how rare it is. But uh, maybe if you're a skiller or something, you can get 99 Slayer that way. Okay, so we just got all five of the items that we need, so uh, we could drop the rest of these. And let's go turn these in for kudos. You have to find the right display for these and uh, match it up in the correct one. And then, yeah, well, I'll show you how I do it right now. Okay, so if you use one of our items here on the Archaeologist, He'll tell us uh, it's a rare item or whatever, and he'll tell us which display case it goes in. I just kind of skipped through it, but that one goes in number 22. So if we go out here, um, I know where it's at already, but if you don't know which case is which number and you're not using the wiki, if you just uh, study the cases, it'll tell you uh, right here, display number 22, so it matches up. We'll use the pottery on the display case and look at the kudos right up here. D di I think I forgot to go through the dialogue. One second. Okay, we're back, and make sure you actually go through the whole dialogue with the archaeologist before you leave. Uh, now use the thingy on the display case, and then we got uh, 10 kudos from that, and we'll do that for all four of these. And we'll see you back with the last one. Okay, so we just used the last one on here. That puts us at 78 kudos now, which means we now need 22 more kudos before we meet the requirements for Bone Voyage. And that's really all we got left now, so if we go to uh, the Bone Voyage quest right over here, 100 kudos. That's all we need. Then we can start the quest and go to Fossil Island and then start our birdhouse runs. But now we still have to find the pendant thing, so let's uh, continue on doing that. 1 out of 51, by the way. Hey, there it is, we finally got the uh, the clean necklace. It didn't take too long, actually. It's probably like maybe about 50, maybe a little bit below that drop rate, but not too bad. But let's take it over here and use it on the archeologist guy. And then by doing that, he will tell us that we can enchant it. And he'll show us how to enchant the ruby necklaces into dig site pendants. You need 49 magic to cast level 3 enchant on ruby jewelry, and because dig site pendants are untradeable, that's something we have to do ourselves. Now you could train up magic to level 49 and then do it yourself that way, or you can just buy the enchant ruby tablets off the GE, and I believe it's one tablet per pendant, which is supposedly 600 GP each, although they're not traded too often, it looks like there's about 1 to 2,000 traded per day. And it comes out to an extra cost of like 100 GP per teleport using tabs instead of casting the enchant spell yourself. But that really isn't that big of a deal since we'll be making tens of thousands of GP per run anyways. And if you're a skiller, that's what you've got to do if you want dig site pendants. So we need 22 more kudos for the Bone Voyage quest. And to get more kudos, we have to do quests. And there's a certain list of quests that you can do that you're allowed to do that give you kudos. And uh, each of those quests gives you five kudos. So we have to do five of these quests on this list, which I have up right here on the wiki. Uh, if I could fit this on the screen here, it, it, it kind of fits. But yeah, we're going to choose uh, five of these quests to do. I'm just going to choose the fastest ones. And uh, the one we're going to start with is Hazil Colt, which is a super fast and short quest. So let's go ahead and start that right now and get that knocked out of the way. Okay, so this quest is by Ardoin. So let's buy an RD teleport tab. It's going to be a little bit of a hit on the cash stack. And then uh, we'll buy a couple more Varak teleports because we'll definitely need them for later at some point. We go to Varak all the time. Buy a couple of these and uh, hopefully get a bit of money back. All right, got 2.8k cash stack left. Now let's go start the quest. All right, so we're here with our boy Cyril Carnelian. Looks like you probably do with uh, kind of bit back on the chocolate cake, but uh, we're starting the quest right now. I would be more than happy to help you, my good sir, for our kudos. And that is going to be the Hazil Colt quest started. It's a very fast 10 minute quest. Okay, so if you're a skiller and you're doing this, make sure you choose the second option here because if you help the good side, then you're gonna have to fight a monster, which you probably could recoil against, but this will save you some time and effort Either option takes about the same amount of time to complete the quest. But if you go with option two, uh, do that if you're a skiller and you won't have to fight anyone. After going through this dialogue, that is going to be the Hazil Cult quest complete. Right here, we got 1.5k thieving XP. Uh, we get, I think we got a level from that too. Uh, yeah, a thieving level from that. Now, once we go back to the museum, there'll be five more kudos that we can get done. So we got four quests left to do. Next quest we're going to do now is Rune Mysteries. A very difficult quest, I know. We'll unlock the Rune Crafting skill, which we'll never use. 
But uh, let's teleport to Lumbridge and start this quest and get that done. We're talking to Duke Horacio here at Lumbridge to start the Room Mysteries quest, and it's going to take like five minutes to do. And we got the Air Talisman, the quest has been started. Okay, can we not die to a mugger and actually finish the quest? Oh no, here we go, here we go. <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. I was expecting to get piled by like five of them. We're back at the Wizard's Tower now, talking to Cedritor, and we're about to finish up the quest, the Room Mysteries quest. And there we go, the quest is now complete. We can do the runecrafting skill, we got a quest point, an air talisman. Most importantly, that is five more kudos knocked out of the way. So we've got three more quests left to do now, and uh, we'll do those in the next video. But for now, I do hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you are enjoying the series, then please let me know by giving the video a like, or by leaving some feedback in the comments. Uh, here's what the stats are looking like right now. But otherwise, that is going to be all for today. Thank you again so much for watching. We are getting closer and closer to doing birdhouse runs every single day, and we'll be there before we know it. But that's all I've got to say, so thank you again for watching, and I will see you again next time.